I just opened up Dad's Studio after doing the most recent update. So I'm, I'm using version 4.12.0.67 Pro Edition Public Build. And there was also a uh, Daz Content update. In our studio, we have a new shader in the iRay. Four layer Uber PBR model. Top, middle, bottom. So let's check this out. I didn't even go through and see if there's anything else. Nope, all the rest of that looked the same. So at least let's play with the shader. And then we'll go in and I haven't even gone through and checked out any of the other new. All right, so top, middle, let's, let's add some primitives. So everything's flipped around, so. There we go. All right, so let's go here. Let's try the let's try the uh, sphere or the uh, cube. I mean, so loaded. So the base color looks like it's orange. So we'll just do each one a different color. Let's go through here. All right, here we get into layers. So we got layer one weight. So they got stones, glossy. Normal map. Up, oh, they got a cutout. So, in the middle, it's just going to be this uh, rocky stone in the words middle. So, layer two is going to be looks like a, kind of like a cityscape going down. <clears throat> okay, then we got a spec bump map again. Okay, so that's going to be under the top. Three is going to be like concrete with no cutoff. All right, so there's three layers. All right, so let's do the same to our cylinder. Change the rotate the rotation kind of like if it was a wall. And you can see I see I flipped it 180 degrees, so it's upside down. So you do see both sides. Actually, it's got to be negative 90. Nope, I guess not. Yep, okay, it flips it. This back behind. Yeah, let's take a look at our cube here. It's not quite set up for a cube. I don't see top anywhere. Well, here's the cement for it, so let's see what settings, if there is a setting for what shape your model is. And so there's a base, so there actually could be four layers counting the base. That tiling. So here's an angle setting. I don't see it on any layer specific. It's at 90, almost 90 degrees. So let's go 45 and see. It didn't change any setting for us here. Still the same. Layer weight. Okay, I don't, I guess I have to play with it some more. Somebody smarter than me will have to figure out if there's a, um, how you change it. See, there's the base layer. And I'm trying to see if there's anything for, I mean, I do see scaling. Well, tiling. All right, so the tiling is what's doing it. So there we go, I'm moving that. So horizontal tiling. Get it right there. Vertical. Alright. Alright, so there's... Top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom. Okay, so you can do it, mess with it a little bit. What do we have left? Our cylinder. Looks all stretched out. Let's let's shrink it down here. All right, there we go. So let's zoom in on this, and let's go back to I-ray. 
So now we're dealing with a sphere and a flat surface. All right, so let's see how tiling works for this. So horizontal will spread it out and make it smaller so more of it's fitting. So without some words, just have images or just some textures, you probably could get some really cool effects on a surface like this. And our flat plane back here looks easy enough. I almost use it for like a uh, ground plane. Put this on an angle. Zoom in on it. Put the ball in the way. So base. Okay. Yep. There we go. So oh, you can see the reflection of the other stuff in the a lot of high gloss high reflectivity okay so we could actually even add a image in here let's uh no oh, i get those I'm still playing with these okay so okay yeah with the cutouts the normal map very interesting Let's grab a, let's grab a, let's put a figure in here. Let's close this down. That's why I originally came in. Check out some of my new characters. I got the, the new centaurs for Daz, for eight, male and female. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, well, that's a new one also. All right, well, let's just put one of these things in here. This is a very complex shape. Like the, it shows up. There it is. Okay. Let's close on it real fast. Let's get a quick leather jacket here. Okay, another complex surface. All right, let's uh, grab the whole thing. Let's grab our shader, that new shader. Well, while wow, this is taking its sweet time, let's do a quick little, let's do bring make up a couple textures in Photoshop just to test this layer thing. Because we have the base and then we have the top. All right. And I'm just going to use nothing photorealistic, just colors here. So let's say we have our base as, say, dirt. Grab a brown here. All right, there we go. That would be our base layer. And say it is, well, laying flat, it could be either way. So we could have, say, the next layer here be just the manhole cover. And that's also, let's duplicate it. This layer also needs to be a black and white. There we go. All right, so then next layer, say up here we're gonna have some grass. And I don't know if my Doing this is going to be correct. Well, oh, that's why, because I didn't. There we go. All right, so there's that. So now we're going to do a new layer that's going to be the uh, cutout for this layer. We're going to do a blend. We're going to use the uh, grad gradient. A lot higher. Come on. Yeah. All right, well, I guess that'll have to do. But then our top layer layout. So okay, let's do another layer, and this is going to be say gravel or something. Let's. Uh... <laughs> All right. All right, it something going on here. Okay, yeah, we can use that for say gravel or whatever. That gives me an idea with a pinch like that. So let's go back to our black and white. Let's go back to our gradient tool. We're going to come in the middle here. Come out something like that. There we go. And I messed up on this layer. Darn it. If you notice what I did. This layer should be solid green. There we go. Go back to here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and a base layer. No bump maps or anything like that, which would make it look good, but I just wanted to do a quick test. So, all right, so no rhyme or reason on my... This will be our top. Well, it's not much, it doesn't look like gravel too much, but we'll just call it that. All right, so then we'll do middle. 
say this again as it's going to work because I'm using JPEG and it needs to be PNG. But those aren't going to work if I have images on. All right, so here's the middle. Well, we have our, my, you know, I now have my test images all set up here. So let's, uh, well, only she, looks like she's the only one who got it, not the, uh, well, the jacket wasn't an IRA, of course. All right, so let's zoom in. For some reason, the horse didn't get it, but didn't get the shade or applied but eh, how crazy it looks top middle so i think it's not keeping up i'm trying to do it scroll it where we can see it change live as i go but it's not working. horizontal yep so they're starting to fill in so i mean i don't know what you'd really try to create some cool androids with this get some different silvers and i wonder I don't think now nah, won't work. I was wondering if you could add a different iris surface to each layer, and you could, but you'd have to copy it into each one manually, and you only have these to work with: metallic, glossy, roughness. That's got your basic stuff. That's that you, that you would need. So let's get in here. Well, actually, I think that centerpiece is actually the top layer, and not the. Actual, well, it could be the iris. It's the cornea. Oh, cornea got it too. So, yep, so it just happened to line up perfectly with the uh, that cement look bump. Find the face. Change the base color here just so we can tell it apart. Yeah. So with time and playing with it, so I mean, We'll be able to come up with something really neat with this. I can't get it to change live. There's just too many. It's, it won't change on me. So let's go back to texture. Let's get rid of it. Let's bring in the primitive. The figure will use just a plane for what I was uh, playing with. Let's play around with what I was quickly playing around with. So let's say my base color is for the ground. So we got the base. Yep, there we go. Change it to white. Alright. So we got the base. I'm not going to worry about trans any of this. Only because I didn't create anything to go with it. Like a glossy map or it has a lot of back, uh, backscatter and it has a lot of stuff you can do for the bottom layer. A lot more than for each individual layers of coming above it. Layer weight. So let's change the base color. Copy this. Alright, so the next layer I think was going to be this thing here. Alright, so you see it here. So layer weight is my cutout. Which is not going to work because it's up here and looks like it's only taking care of this right there. I see it, but I'm backwards. Darn it. So that. Let's get rid of the bump. All right, there we go. So I've got it backwards, I believe. So, yeah, it's inverted. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so <coughs> I got the white and black backwards. Darn it. I'll just leave it and I'll just invert it in here. All right, so there's our our first layer. So it does actually cover the whole area, not strictly just the bottom of the image here, or the, uh, the primitive. All right, so let's go to my layer two, which was going to be this one here. So it's just going to lead from a different direction. All right, so there's my layer weight, my layer two. And come from the other side, let's rotate at 90. Okay, there we go. So you see a little bit of grass. Now this, okay, so it's not working. So this would actually have to be in this one also 
to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so let's do our top layer here. Glossy map for it, and I'm going to turn off the bump for it too. Okay, so yeah, it pretty much everything does work. You know, so truthfully, if I wanted this bottom layer to show, so what I would have to do is, uh, but I'm going to invert it because, all right, there we go. The white, which was my second layer, I believe. So there's the first one. Second one was the gradient. So let's save this. Alpha 2. And it changed because I had inverted it. And on this one, I didn't. So, so the top one now, this here, again, I would have to do the same thing. Add that circle, this circle, this map. So let's do that. I'm going to get all the way down to the bottom layer here. Using, you know, the multiple layers. And I don't know if I succeeded or not. Doesn't look like it. Really, we should be seeing the brown below it. Black, black. And you know what it must be. Because I got this alpha backwards. That's right. Yep, live and learn. Let's turn that on. Let's... If I knew for sure, I wouldn't have to trial and error. But that's fine. Oh, so you can't even tell because it's... Okay. Yeah, so there's something going on. I don't know if it's my, you know, let me cancel that. Can I change it to none? I don't know if these colors were affecting glossy colors, my base, back up to my, I mean, this base. No, it doesn't affect it. So this is not, it didn't cut all the way through. But there is. three different layers. I mean, you are seeing all the layers in here. Not You don't see the base, but you do have grass one with the, the, the fade. And then you have the, say, gravel one with its alpha going around it. So we're seeing, we're seeing the three layers. Oh, and then there's the base. You can kind of see it reflecting. Yep, see it went away. Yep, so you, are, you can kind of see it. So, I mean, it does work. And if I had made up some some bump maps, which truthfully, I kind of did. I mean, I have each one of these layers is a black and white. Let's put those in as a bump. Why? Because I had normal map turned on. Darn it, we're not using normal. Height, height. There we go. Trying to see if I got all the correct. Okay, we can kind of see more through here only because it's in all the uh, maps. We're getting a little bit of here. But not so much from... I mean, you can kind of see it, depending on the angle you turn it. Like right there, it kind of looks like you got some height. But then when you go to go flat, or stop, it looks flat again. But yeah, it's interesting. It looks like you can build up layers and just have to experiment with what it can do. If I find anything else new, I will be sure to bring it up.